What's going on YouTube family? It's your man Pristine back with another video. Welcome to the Pristine review for the Blue Vivo 11 Plus. Now this is a device that just actually came out of nowhere. Um, as I mentioned before, a lot of times in my free time, I am scouring through the internet, surfing the web for devices that I want to feature here on the channel next. And I stumbled across this phone, researched it, saw the price, and um, man, I had to get it. And apparently, you know, you guys tend to, uh, you know, you guys took to it very heavily. So I appreciate all of the views uh, that that video has gotten. Um, that video is still moving. <laughs> um, and, and rightfully so. I mean, I think that this is a damn good device um, at a really, really good price point, And it's offering a whole hell of a lot for the price. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's jump into this full review now. Um, <clears throat> first off, one of the most important specs being the price. I paid $279.99 for this particular device. Now, the regular price is $350, $349.99. If you ordered this phone... I believe the first week of launch, then you got it at the discounted price of two seventy nine ninety nine. Some people have said that they got it for, or some people have said that you could have gotten it for two fifty. They said that Blue had knocked off uh, even hundred dollars. Um, I personally, I never saw that. The lowest that I've seen this phone was two seventy nine ninety nine. So plus taxes, I mean, I paid. It was either a little under three hundred or a, or a tad bit over three hundred, no more than three hundred and ten bucks um, on Amazon. And I will definitely drop the link in the description if this phone is something that you want to get your hands on as well. Now you guys see I've got my Michael Myers Halloween wallpaper there. I'll drop a link in the description as well for all of you Halloween fans out there that are excited about the new movie that's coming out on October sixteenth. We, we get to see Mike Myers back back to business back to business as usual um, Lori Strode you're done alright you're done <laughs> because the boogeyman woo, the shape <laughs> oh he coming to get you baby yeah he coming to get you alright now um, specs for this particular device we've got a 6.2 inch Full 1080p IPS HD plus panel. We've got a 19 by 9 aspect ratio. We do have a notch at the top where that is clearly visible right there. Um, but because of the dark wallpaper, the notch is hidden. Now, one thing that I do like about the fact that you can easily get rid of the notch. Blue made it very simple and plain. You don't have to go into the settings under the display settings. You can just simply swipe down to the top and it gets rid of the notch right there. If you want to add the notch again, then you just simply swipe back down on the left and there's the notch. I mean, how convenient is that? No notch. Notch. Very, very convenient. Um, so... 6.2 inch full HD plus panel looks really good. Um, we've got a media Helio, uh, a MediaTek Helio P60 processor, which again is a Snapdragon 660 equivalent. We've got six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage that can be expanded up to 256 gigs. Okay. Um, we're running Android 8.1 Oreo fresh out of the box. Blue is promising an Android Pie update in early 2019s. And I know that that's been one of the main thorns in people's side about the Blue products is that they don't get updates. Okay. Well, like I said, there's been a little bit of a philosophy change in Blue. Right. They're doing things a little bit differently. They're stopping all the mass production of mediocre devices and they're focusing more so on devices like this that are going to be much more of quality and performance and they're going to have some of the latest updates um, whether that be software or any other kind of update that you can imagine so I'm hoping that that proves to be the case 
but I think that for what I paid for this device, it is worth every penny. And they could have actually charged more for everything that this for the, everything that this device is offering. Um, so now, see, I told you guys, if you thought I was lying, there's a Halloween ringtone, and that's on all my phones. And so you could also get that on the Zedge app as well. Hold up, y'all. I gotta take this. Okay, my bad, y'all. I had to take that call. That was VIP, man. Very important persons. Um, but as you can tell, I'm excited about the new Halloween movie, man. Yeah. All right. Now, Michael Myers is just my favorite. Always has been. Always will be. All right. Now. All right. My bad, y'all. So, again, those are the price and the specs for you. Now, build quality. We've got Corning Gorilla Glass 3 on the front and the back of this particular device. Now, it's not the latest Corning Gorilla Glass 5, but the fact that it is Corning Gorilla Glass means that this phone definitely has some durability. And if you hold this phone, this phone, it's got some heft to it. You know, it's a little bit heavy, right? And again, it's a 6.2-inch device. Um, so if you, let's see, here is my iPhone 10s Max. And let's see here. Okay, the left is the blue, and the right is the iPhone. So you can see the iPhone is a little bit bigger. You know, the iPhone is 6.5 inches, but you can tell that the the blue it's a it's a it's it's not a small phone by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, and it's also a little wider than most phones that are this size. I mean, so that it, it definitely has some heft to it. Now, um, but I but I overall I like the construction. Of the device. I mean, it feels premium. It looks premium. I love this case. Like this artwork was the same artwork that was on the box that it came in. And so it came with this case and it also came with the, with a clear transparent case. And typically I like the rock with the clear transparent cases, but after seeing this and slapping it on, man, it just gives it just a different look. And it also, it adds a little bit of grit because this one, it seems to be a little bit more rubberized than the transparent case. And so I just rock with this case. But yeah, it definitely gives the phone some grip. I mean, with the phone being glass on the front and the back, it is slippery and it is a fingerprint magnet. So you definitely want to keep a case on this device and you also want to keep a screen protector on this device as well just to help protect your investment. And speaking of that, like I said, there were two cases that came in the box with this phone. The one that I have on and a clear transparent TPU case. And it also came with the doggone screen protector. This is a tempered glass screen protector or one of those hard plastic. Either way, it's, 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 it's something that you can put on the front of the device to protect its face. Okay? Now, Apple, Samsung, yo, y'all need to take notes because... Here's the, uh, the, 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 the iPhone... 10s max here's the note 9 this phone costs a thousand this phone costs 1100 you think either one of these phones came with a case or a screen protector absolutely not so you're paying all that money for these phones and yet and still you have to go and buy additional accessories okay the blue vivo 11 plus here which looks and feels just as premium as these two phones, you get everything in the box. Everything. Now, there's no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, but you get a dongle. <clears throat> Apple, you get a dongle. Blue wasn't playing. They knew exactly what they were doing with this particular package. And that's one of the things that I love about Blue because typically with most of their devices, they come packed with everything that you need in the box. And that is definitely, definitely solid. So, build quality, I'm a fan of. Now, performance. As I mentioned, MediaTek Helio P60, Snapdragon 660 equivalent, 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of onboard storage. This phone, in my personal opinion, is a top performer. It performs really, really well. Now, I've heard 
several things about MediaTek processors, and I'm not exactly sure, you know, what the big deal is. I mean, I, I think that MediaTek, you know, is a, a, a reputable enough company to know that, you know, people should feel confident in the fact that if they get a device that has a MediaTek processor in it, that they're still going to get really solid performance. Now, I know that they're always being compared to Snapdragon, you know, hey, some phones have Snapdragon processors, other phones have MediaTek processors. There are circumstances where MediaTek outperforms Snapdragon and vice versa. Okay, like I said, this phone is the equivalent to the Snapdragon 660. Some people are just like, oh, well, how come they just didn't put the Snapdragon 660 in here? Well, I, I don't know. You'd have to contact Blue. I mean, maybe that would have jacked up the price a little bit because I'm pretty sure that, you know, Snapdragon, they, they've got a name, right? They've got a huge name. You know, there's a lot of Snapdragon processors that's in a lot of Android devices. And so just like Apple, Samsung, you're paying for a name. Not that now they now. You know, they've earned their stripes, like they've paid their dues. I mean, they've put out some really good products over the years, but at the same time, if you take if you if you take a Samsung or an Apple product and you take their name off of it, do you think that it'd still be as expensive as it is? Probably not. You know, if you go buy a pair of Nikes, Air Max, some Jordans or something like that. Okay, they look cool. But you're paying that price because they got that Nike logo on them. They got that Jordan logo on them. But say you find another pair of shoes that are just as stylish and comfortable. That are like half the price. Maybe a different brand. They may even look more premium than the Jordans or the Nikes. But they ain't going to cost as much. Why? Because they ain't got that Jordan sign on them. They ain't got that Nike sign on it. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's just what the business is right here with the blue. Okay. Um, but MediaTek processor, P60 processor, nonetheless, as you can see, scrolling, not a problem. I've got my touch, uh, touch gestures enabled. I mean, so I'm taking full advantage of the full 19 by nine aspect ratio on this nice big 6.2 inch panel. Um, and I have to say that performance has always been nice and buttery smooth. Now I've got my T-Mobile SIM card in this joint. Open up a couple of applications just so you can see how buttery smooth and how quick the phone operates. Let's go to Spotify real quick. Okay. A lot of information on this particular app, and so this is no surprise. Okay. But as you see, once we get into it, breezes through it like a hot knife through butter. Pop in the SoundCloud real quick. Same thing. Got a lot of music here on SoundCloud. No problems. Let's go shopping. Let's go to Amazon. Boom. Popped right up with no problems. All right. Let's go to Best Buy. See what's cracking at Best Buy. Okay. Saw that. And then you get into the app. We're scrolling. No problems at all whatsoever. Swipe up from the left, the bottom left, to get to all our recents. RAM management is on point. Nice and smooth. Apps running in the background without having to reload. They just pop right back into them. Let's see. Messages. Uh, all right, Bible. Boom. Goes right back into it. And I like the fact that you're able to change the little transition effects as well. I mean, so, you know, to get this little effect, you just hard press on the home screen and it'll tell you wallpaper, arrange, search, or desktop settings. And then you can choose through menu, widget, and then if you hit widget, there's all these different widgets at the bottom. And so if you go ahead and hit effect, then this is where you can change your different effects. And so, it, it, you know, I feel like Blue, they just thought of every little thing with this particular vi uh, device in order to be able to customize it to your liking. Again, so there's widgets right there. Here's menu right here. Um, oh, I just got some money. <laughs> you guys heard that? Ching, ching. Hey. All right, my bad, y'all. Man, I had to see what that was about because I like that sound. <laughs> um. Actually, my birthday is in a couple of days, turning 40, y'all. 
So man, people people blessing me. Blessing me here and there. And it's a blessing to see 40 because a lot of people weren't fortunate enough to see it. So, um, but yeah. So, I, you know, the performance, in my personal opinion on this device, is, is solid. It's, it's, been, it's been nothing but nothing short of stellar, in my personal opinion, with using this device for the past few weeks that I've had it. Um, now, the cameras. Dual camera setup on the rear of the device, which is what you see right there. We've got a 16 megapixel primary, and we've got a 5 megapixel um, secondary camera lens that is for depth information for bokeh effect photos and then we've also got a 16 megapixel front facing selfie camera as well now my personal opinion i think these cameras are really good and i know that before some pe i've heard people say things like phones that have mediatek processors in them have poor cameras i do not think that that's the case ladies and gentlemen you can look at every review possible but please do yourself a solid and get the device in your hand and test it out for yourself. Test out the performance, see how it feels, how it looks. Test out the cameras for yourself because just because somebody else says that the camera isn't all that great, you may like the camera for what it is and what it does. And it's interesting to me how like, I look at some of these cats online, uh, some of these, some of the big wigs, and not only do they do video reviews for these phones, but they'll also do like written reviews and during the written review, they'll have like camera images posted up that they've taken with the camera on this phone. And they were sitting there talking about how garbage the camera was and how this photo wasn't good and that photo wasn't good. But I'm sitting there looking at these images and I'm like, what in the hell is this person talking about? Now me, I'm no professional by any stretch of the imagination. But what I do know is what looks good to the naked eye. And a lot of these shots that I saw on this particular review that I was reading, the pictures, while this guy was sitting there just slamming this camera, the images that I was looking at, to me, were some damn good photos. So, again, you just have to take people's opinion with a grain of salt. Hell, take my opinion with a grain of salt. Get your hands on this device and take some pictures with it, and you be the judge. Now, there is a dedicated camera video that I've done for this called vivo 11 plus forward slash the camera so be sure to check that out you know i go into depth about the camera features and functions um there's still shot image samples there's video footage samples with the rear camera and the front facing camera and you guys look at that and hopefully that'll help you guys determine how the cameras perform on this particular device but i was pretty impressed now, I don't want to say that my expectations were low because we live in a day and age now in 2018 where you can pay a couple hundred bucks for a phone and the cameras will blow your mind. They'll be right on par with some of these phones that cost a thousand bucks. And so I wasn't expecting for the camera to not be good, but I figured the camera was it. The camera on this phone is better than what I expected it to be. OK, I'll just put it that way, if that makes sense. But you guys be sure to go ahead and check out that dedicated camera video and let me know what you think about that in the comments. All right. Now, battery life. We've got a 3050 milliamp hour battery on this particular device. I have had no trouble at all whatsoever, ladies and gentlemen, getting through a full day and still having change left over. And when I say change left over, I'm talking about maybe, you know, 35 to 40% left over. A lot of times how I'll gauge this stuff is when I go to work, I'm in the medical field, I work 12 hour shifts. And so a lot of times, you know, I take my phone with me and of course we can't be on it all throughout our shift, but you know, on my breaks, if it's not busy, we may step off, take a phone call or two, you know, do some text messaging on my lunch break. I watch YouTube, you know, all that kind of thing. No problems at all whatsoever. On my days off, I carry the phone with me, talking, texting, web browsing, uh, 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 music streaming, YouTube video streaming. No problems at all whatsoever, okay? No problems at all whatsoever. So I have to say that this phone is definitely a solid performer when it comes to battery life. Now, I know that some people were talking about how they didn't know how to expose the battery percentage. Okay, so here you go. So again, there's the notch. Now you swipe down. Now you see the battery percentage right there. So 
when you swipe down and you get rid of the notch, then the battery percentage is at the top left as opposed to the top right. Okay. Now, when you bring back the notch, then all you see is the battery icon. You don't see the percentage. So if you want to see the battery percentage, then you have to swipe down and do away with the notch. And that's the only way that you can see the battery percentage on the screen. If you're rocking the notch, all you can see is the little battery icon right there. Okay. Now, a lot of times, depending on what I'm doing, because I like to see the notch up there, but a lot of times what I'll do is I'll rock it like this because you also notice that when I swipe down to do away with the notch, all my notifications that I've gotten, they pop up, right? Now, when I swipe down to bring the notch back, then all those notification indicators go away, okay? And then what I have to do at that point is rely on the little dots, which you see the little red dots right there. That's all. Those are all indications that you've got notifications from, let's see, so if I pop in my social media, okay, so I've got one notification from Facebook, okay? Let's get out of that. Okay, you see I've got one notica notification for Flipboard. Let's get out of that. And then you'll see I've got one notification from the Cash App, which is where I just received a blessing. Um, and so um, that's cool and all, but a lot of times if I'm looking at my phone like this, I like to be able to just look at the top of the screen and just see what notifications that I've got. So I like the fact that Blue has made it very simple for you to just change between the, the notch or no notch, but you saw when you choose no notch, then that's when you see all your notifications up top. Or then again, you could just swipe down from the top and access all your notifications there along with all your quick toggles. And you can see all your notifications like that as well. Um, but yeah, the battery on this phone, no problem at all whatsoever. Now, additional features. Boy, does this phone have a lot of them. For one, I like the fact that you're able to transition, you know, change your transition effects, as I've already shown. Two, wireless charger here. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got, well, well you heard it. Well, let's see, because normally there's like a little, oh, it's because the screen isn't locked. But if the screen is locked and you set it on it, then this is where you'll see the little animation. Okay? And it'll tell you just to make sure that you're placing the phone right at the center of the wireless charger to ensure that it's placed properly so that it can charge the phone wirelessly. That's pretty dope. I can't say that I've ever owned a phone that was under 300 have USB Type-C. Would have been nice to have had a dual speaker set up, but we only have a bottom firing speaker. And ladies and gentlemen, it is plenty loud. OK, it definitely gets loud enough. I mean, so hearing notifications, hearing my ringtones is not a problem at all whatsoever. I like the double tap to wake and the double tap to sleep. OK, another thing that I like is this phone. It also has facial recognition. Now, it may not be as secure as the facial recognition that we have on the iPhone XS Max here or what we have here on the Note 9. But. This phone, all you have to do is hold it up. Oh, I'm in front of the camera. And it will unlock. So let's double tap to wake or double tap to sleep. Hopefully I can capture this on camera. Boom. Okay. Well, I'm in front of the camera now. So that's why it's not doing it. Okay. Now, let's try this. All right, so boom, hold it up. Okay, now it's never been a problem, but now that I'm trying to use it on camera, now, <laughs> now it wants to act flaky. Okay, um, but ladies and gentlemen, it does work. Most, the, oh, you know what? I've got it turned off. That's what it is. I've got the facial recognition turned off because it is very, very, very sensitive. And so every time you move your phone up, it's recognizing your face. And there's some times where I don't want it to recognize my face. I may just want to look at something on the screen. I may just want to look at a notification that I may have or something like that, but it will unlock the phone. And so I turned it off because it is very, very, very sensitive. So 
That's what the issue is, ladies and gentlemen. It's not that it's faulty or that it doesn't work in here. Just to show you what I'm talking about. Here, let's go into settings. Security. Face ID. Okay, let me put in my code. Okay. So as you can see, it's off. Okay. So let's turn that on. Now let's go back. Okay. So now I'm going to raise this phone up. Don't blink because it's fast. Boom. Okay. I had to move it over to the left a little bit because my face was behind the camera. Okay. So let's try that again. Just a confirmation from you guys or for you guys that this definitely works. Okay. Here we go. Boom. You see that? Just opened up lightning quick. Okay. So that's another feature that I enjoy when I want to use it. But a lot of times it opens up when I don't want it to. You know, I just take a quick glance at it and all it takes is a quick glance. And this has the same or similar technology that we have on the iPhone 10. Okay. Same technology. It's 3D. It's 3D facial recognition. So a lot of the, the same sensors and stuff that you find on the iPhone 10, you also have here on the blue Vivo 11 Plus. How dope is that? This phone is 1100 bucks. This phone was just barely over 300 Come on, man. And wireless charging. Lightning fast performance. 6 gigs of RAM versus 4 gigs of RAM. You know? Now, I can't say that the Helio P60 is as powerful as the A12 Bionic, but still, you know, man, man look, let's let's do this real quick, man, because now, 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 now I'm intrigued. Let's just do this real quick. All right, here, let's, okay, let me, let me make sure that everything on the iPhone is closed. All right, everything is closed now. Let's go into Spotify. All right, here we go. Okay, so you saw the A12 Bionic. It opened up a little faster, but you're talking about seconds, ladies and gentlemen. And this is connected to my Wi-Fi. This is on my T-Mobile 4G LTE. I'm not connected to Wi-Fi on my Blue 11 Plus right now. So this was LTE, this was Wi-Fi. Now. I don't get good uh, uh, LTE reception from Verizon in my house, which is why I keep it on Wi-Fi. Um, so I'm sure if I were to turn off Wi-Fi, it would be extremely slow because I would only have like a bar. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As opposed to three or four bars. So that, would be, that wouldn't be a fair match. Um, but you saw that um, even with against the processor that on paper is superior over the Helio P60, you saw there wasn't that much of a difference as far as opening that application, man. Um, so, I mean, what, what, what can I say, ladies and gentlemen? Um, yeah, so I like the I like the fact that it has the double tap to wake, double tap to uh, to, to 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 lock the screen, the facial unlock, um, the transitions, the being able to swipe to get rid of the the notch or to be able to add the notch. I mean, the overall build, wireless charge, fingerprint sensor as well, which is also lightning quick. And so, you know, just to show you that real quick, you see that? As soon as I turn it over and I'm just barely touching it, boom. Now, a lot of people feel like, you know, Apple. Again, I hate to keep alluding back to Apple, but where this little Apple logo is, it's like Apple, we, we, we know who you are. We know all about that logo. All I need is iPhone right there. I don't need an Apple logo right there. Put a fingerprint sensor right there. Give us the option if we don't want to use Face ID. You know what I mean? Well, blue, that is just a little squirrel trying to get a nut when it comes, when it, when it, you know, compared to Apple. Because let's face it, Apple is a major conglomerate. Blue, uh, Blue is nowhere near where Apple is. 
but the little company that's trying to make a name for itself seems to get the hint. Where you at, Apple? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Final thoughts, ladies and gentlemen, for the blue Vivo 11 Plus. Buy it. This phone is dope. It's not going to break the bank. It's going to do everything that you want and need it to do. It's got all the bells and whistles and the amenities of a 2018 smartphone. It's got a lightning fast processor in it. And it's not a Snapdragon. It's got 6 gigs of RAM. It's got 128 gigs of onboard storage. It's got a 19 by 9 aspect ratio that you can easily just swipe down from the top left and make it an 18 by 9 aspect ratio. Or if you want that 19 by 9, then hey, you can just swipe on the top left again. What happens when you swipe down from the right? Just bring down your notification shade. Android Oreo 8.1 fresh out of the box. Type-C connectivity. Memory expansion up to 256 gigs. I just paid 1100 bucks for this. All I got is 64 gigs with no memory expansion. Kind of makes this purchase seem kind of foolish, right? <laughs> yeah. The Blue Vivo 11 Plus. This phone is for anybody that doesn't want to break the bank. This phone is for anybody that wants a really good smartphone for a very, very, very solid price point. Another option is the Pocophone F1. If you want all the, the latest 2018 specs on the Android spectrum, the Pocophone F1. Snapdragon 845 processor, 6 gigs of RAM, memory expansion, big screen display. With the notch that I'm sure you can dis uh, disable, very nice cameras, Type-C connectivity with fast charge, made by Xiaomi, 370 bucks. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, we're no longer living in that day and age when you got to spend this kind of money or this kind of money <laughs> for a good smartphone experience. Ladies and gentlemen, this is all I got for the Blue Vivo 11 Plus. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to expose yourself to tons of more videos that I've done like this one. And definitely stay tuned to keep it locked here at Pristine Mobile Tech because I've got so much more content to come. Be sure to hit that notification bell so that whenever I upload a video, you, 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 you can all be the first to view the content as soon as it goes live. And you can be the first to drop your comments. Let me know what your thoughts were, feedback, questions, anything that I may have missed that you want me to cover in future videos to come on all these devices. I would do my absolute best to accommodate you. Much love to all of my subscribers for rocking with me. I'm almost at 4,000 subscribers, far exceeded where I thought I'd be at this point. I thank God. I thank you guys because I wouldn't be where I'm at right now if not for you guys. Much appreciated. All my new subscribers. Welcome to the pristine mobile journey. I'm going to continue getting my hands on these devices, doing these videos to bless you guys with as much information as possible to help you make a smart, informed decision on what your next smartphone purchase may be. That's what I do this for. So until the next one, you guys already know. Thanks for watching. Keep it safe. Get spiritually fit. And definitely keep it pristine in every aspect of your lives. This is the Vivo 11 Plus made by Blue. I'm your man Pristine bringing you the content. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.